Last year, it seems Simon Cowell was in the mood for cutting down his real estate portfolio. Only a month after selling his main mansion in Beverly Hills for $25 million, he ditched another 90210 estate in an off-market deal. While he let go of these homes, Simon still owns a sprawling $24 million mansion in Malibu, as well as luxury properties in New York City and the UK. In this video, we'll tour a few of Mr. Cowell's homes, and with his impressive real estate, you don't want to miss this. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. We all got to know him as the brutally honest and entertaining judge of American Idol, Simon Cowell, but he is so much more than that. He's a TV personality who hails from England, an entrepreneur, entertainment manager, and record exec. Simon has found major success creating series like The X Factor and Got Talent franchises, which he's also judged on. This includes both The X Factor Factor UK and the US, as well as America's Got Talent from 2016 to the present. After Cowell was a record producer and talent scout in the 80s and 90s, he came to public eye in 2001 as a judge on Pop Idol, a show that he successfully pitched alongside its creator Simon Fuller. Since then, considering how well he's done, he's received awards for all of his major contributions to the entertainment industry. Simon often makes blunt and controversial comments as a TV judge, even insults, but it's always made him Memorable. So it's, it's a no? No. No. Thank you for seeing us anyway. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. It looked like the before, during, and after of Weight Watchers. He's also produced successful albums and singles for musicians he's taken under his wing, from Leona Lewis to One Direction to CNCO, you name it. At the time of this recording, Simon has a massive net worth of about $600 million. So while he's gotten rid of a few of his LA mansions, he has plenty of luxe properties to fall back on, as you might have guessed. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We noticed about 95% of you aren't subscribed and we're the original celebrity house tour pros, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're looking at where the one and only Simon Cowell calls home, and since he owns multiple properties, we'll be looking at about three of them from Malibu to the UK. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In summer of 2020, it was reported that Simon has sold one of his Beverly Hills mega mansions for $25 million. The lavish property was located on the best block of a posh street in the Beverly Hills Flats neighborhood on a nearly one acre piece of land. Simon bought the home way back in 2004 for $8 million and spent five years and millions of dollars transforming the property into a high tech palace packed with custom amenities like a million dollar security system and a full wellness center. It was just just off of Sunset Boulevard and considering Simon's affinity for a luxury lifestyle, you would expect his home to offer only the best, and it does. The traditional meets modern mansion boasted a black and white interior design with a ton of marble and glass. Cowell was involved in every aspect of designing his LA home, right down to the doorknobs. Inside, a 9,335 square foot estate offers six beds, six baths, and everything you could imagine. There's a sleek all white entryway with winding staircase and floor to ceiling glass, and amenities like a high tech home theater, professional tanning salon, state of the art gym, a solarium, and not one, but two kitchens. Like I mentioned, the exclusive wellness center includes a spa with side by side massage massage tables, and a steam room. Even the staff can live at luxury in Simon's former mansion. For the hired help, there are separate live-in maid and butler's quarters, and a 24-hour staff kitchen. The $1 million world-class security system reportedly includes retina and fingerprint scan authorization, so safety isn't an issue at this palace. Outside, the amenities continue, and you'll find a lap lane swimming pool, cabana with retractable roof, outdoor wet bar, and even a putting green. After selling this masterpiece, Simon went on to unload another home he owned in Beverly Hills just months later for $14.5 million this time. This mid-century modern house was in the expensive Truesdale States neighborhood, and despite the expensive price tag, Simon was actually at a loss on this sale. Besides these two homes, he also put a Hidden Hills ranch he owns on the market too. Simon currently owns a $24 million mansion in Malibu, which may be the most famous of his properties. It's even made appearances on his TV shows over the years like the X 
X-Factor celebrity auditions that was taped at this home. Simon purchased this contemporary single-level estate in 2017, and it's situated on a private bluff at the end of a gated tree-lined drive. There's over 1.5 acres of gorgeous gardens surrounding the home and sweeping ocean views from the entryway down the grand hallway. The mansion is just meters from the coast, and inside stands 10,000 square feet of space with seven beds and nine baths. Simon's Malibu house was built in 1988 and of course updated since, offering stone and dark wood floors, Venetian plaster walls, and high ceilings with large skylights. In total, the home has six fireplaces, some inside and some outside that you can choose to cozy up aside. Rooms in this home include everything from formal dining spaces decked out in marble to a home gym. While all the bedrooms are luxurious, the one which Simon and his partner Lauren share is decidedly the best. His and hers master suite boasts a massage room, spa, fireplace, and private patio. One of the other guest suites has its own entrance, and there are additional staff quarters too. Simon's home is ideal for indoor-outdoor Malibu living with a ton of space for entertaining. Pocket doors throughout open up to the tropical backyard, where there's a plunge pool, hot tub, barbecue, and multiple terraces. There's a koi pond directly off the home too, which has floor-to-ceiling glass windows, and aerial shots show a lighted tennis court on the property, which the media mogul seems to use as a car park. Simon actually spent months recovering from a broken back at his Malibu home during 2020 after an electric bike incident. While the star doesn't usually share pics inside his private home, he did share a photo of himself with his son in the garden with their pet dogs. Reportedly, Simon is planning to spend more time at the property in order to enjoy a quieter life away from Hollywood with his family. Before we end this house tour, of course, Simon also owns homes in his native country of England. It's said that he owns more than one here, but there's less information readily available about these places. The main one we know about is in London, and he paid over $20 million for the place in 2018. The X Factor judge sold another home in West London and moved into this beautiful 18th century house as it was closer to some good private schools for his son Eric. Now, Simon has been given the go ahead to transform the historic home into a house that meets the modern requirements of the family. Reportedly, Simon wants to add expensive upgrades like a 15 meter outdoor pool with its own pool house and bar. The home apparently has seven beds and features like a sunroom. Plans say he will extend this sunroom and add a glazed conservation lantern roof to allow for sunshine throughout the year, even in the privacy of the home. Security conscious Simon is adding state of the art security and upgrading the lighting, as well as the security cameras in the house. He'll add three new vehicle gates, but one thing he plans to leave as is, is the village Victorian mailbox attached to the outer wall, which is still in use. Some other touches Simon plans to add to his London home include underfloor heating and air conditioning and a timber pergola on the surrounding grounds of the property. Now we've taken a look at three properties X Factor Judge Simon Cowell calls home, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. With such a massive fortune to his name, I'm not surprised his homes have all gone above and beyond. And I also learned how much the man values his privacy. I mean, $1 million in security in one house? Crazy. So what did you guys think about Simon's Mansions? Which one was your fave? I can't tell if I like the Beverly Hills spot he sold or his current Malibu home better. I would say Malibu if only because it's on the coast. Be sure to rate his homes down in the comments. I'd also love it if you guys like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I love seeing you guys comment and getting to know you guys better over there. I'll link you my latest video. Queen Victoria is here. I couldn't stand Victoria. Queen Victoria. First thing I said was, Rebecca Black, is that you? She literally looks like her so much. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.